What you got on there, bud? You tying okay. daddy? <laughs> you got daddy's shoes on? Oh, man. I did it. You did it. You did it. What did you do? He literally has his shoe, your shoe on top of his shoe. Wow. Daddy? Yeah? Another shoe. Another shoe? Another shoe. What's going on everybody? So I have finally come to the day where I have old morning, noon, and night here at Cookville RV and Marine up in Cookville, Tennessee to get my fender replaced and the propane line replaced that I had ripped off going down I-40 a couple months back just before Thanksgiving. Went to have some repairs done and as you guys know in a previous video I did have a blowout. So we are finally here, gonna have the fender replaced and the propane line replaced. So this will be the last time I'm hoping and praying that you see this looking all funky like so. All this under stuff is gonna be repaired. They're gonna put a new fender on it for me and they're also gonna put the new propane line that goes right there which is going to power our refrigerator during transit. So that's the only way we keep our refrigerator cool during transit is with the propane and we've not been able to do that and since it happened. Um, but gonna have that fixed today or in the next week they say. And next time you see us or see me or the unit, I will be showing you guys the finished products. Fingers crossed, everything's, tanks are drained, batteries disconnected, everything's locked up. We're gonna be staying with Lolly which is Jen's mom for the week in Namaw, uh, which also brought you guys horse feathers, as many of you may remember. Horse feathers. And next time we see it, she's gonna be looking all pretty. Well, I got the bill. $983 later, old morning, noon, and night, has a new fender and a new propane line. It's kind of a lot of money if you ask me for <laughs> A little bit of work but it's done now we're gonna go pick it up and check it out see what they got and show you guys as well so just reading over my receipt 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 you good you having fun no you're not good well i'm not either but we're gonna go get it going back here to get old morning noon and night There she is. No, that's not her. It's not her? No, look at that thing hanging off the front end of her. Oh, that's definitely not her. Oh. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> Where are you at, old girl? She's in her spot. <laughs> uh, they told me it was in the same spot, but apparently not. What about that one over there? No, that's no, not it. That's a bunch of slide. That slide. Was slide. We don't got a slide. We ain't got a slide. That ain't ours. That ain't ours. All right. Where's old girl? <laughs> oh, that, that one. I think that one right there. Uh, nope. Uh, no? It better be, actually. Jeez. I can't get in there. Yeah, that's that old girl right there. Yeah, that's her. Now, I'm going to need to find where my wheel chocks are at because... Oh, yeah, you didn't ask them. No, I didn't. But I'm going to find out because I have pictures of my wheel chocks. And this is another thing that's so important. Whenever you guys drop off a unit at a dealership, take pictures of everything on the outside. I put wheel chocks on and I told them, took a picture of it in their lot. So now I gotta go find out where my wheel chocks are at because they're not here. And this is why I take pictures for proof. Got morning, noon, and night back. She's got a new fender on it. 
new propane line looks good there's a little bit of workmanship that i'm in question of at the moment but they are sending somebody down here to take a look at it uh in my opinion it's nothing i can't do myself but since it was in the shop i don't feel like i should have to i've already paid for the service and this is what i'm telling you guys make sure before you move the unit off their lot when you pick it up make sure that you do a full walk around and check out your unit and go over everything that you can possibly go over take 15 20 minutes and check everything out because if there's anything in question you want to have that answered and, and figured out before you have to drag your unit back to the dealership so this is a little bit of what I'm talking about uh, they are sending somebody down here to look at it for me and see what they can do I don't feel like the line should be hanging down that much I mean it looks kind of not normal just hanging down and then also I've got this piece of metal just dangling now I see the screw right here but my question is is it supposed to be fixed or is it just remove it I mean I think it's supposed to be doing something it has a purpose and I don't think that line should be hanging down like that so I'm having somebody come down here and take a look at it um, everything's fixed it just needs to be cleaned up a little bit and tidied up in my opinion so we'll see what they say we are however very very excited to have old girl back here our house uh, you know it's nice that we were able to stay with family but you just want your own bed and your own stuff and it's your home when you full-time travel so that's what we're excited about today we've got our rig back and we're going back to Old Mill and we got to get some videos up for you guys that's what we're doing this weekend is working on some editing so here it is they fixed it they got this metal part screwed in all it does is keep the fender <laughs> from moving during transit in the highway the propane line they just put a zip tie to keep it from dangling so that way when the slide goes in and out <laughs> it doesn't mess up look where it goes up there in that cutout so it goes behind the refrigerator and ties in up yonder up yonder up yonder this is a head buster waiting to happen maybe we should get out of here actually can you already explained to them what what we did you can try yeah gypsy when we got it back i had some questions on the workmanship um i had some pieces dangling down that you guys saw this little metal piece was dangling propane line was in front of the tire and I could see it visually and I just didn't feel like that was normal. Come down and fix it. I had no problem with it. They're like, sorry, human error. We forgot. No big deal. Um, but yeah, that metal piece, literally just to prohibit the fender from flapping when you're going down the road. Go to bed, son. How about that? You say night night. Night night, Cooper. <laughs> <laughs>